This is Western Fashion Behind the Scenes, hosted by the Boot Babes. In this podcast, we delve deep into the world of Western fashion, exploring its history, trends, and the people who make it happen. With Cowgirls once again taking the spotlight, we bring you stories from the industry's most fascinating characters. Saddle up and join us as we ride into the wild west of fashion. And now here's your host. Hey, it's Ashley the Boot Babe, and we are live on Western Fashion Behind the Scenes with an amazing human being. I met Robin this year at the National Finals Rodeo, and I've been watching Robin for quite a while. Robin is the owner of Lovely Ranch, and I'm so excited that you're here. So exciting to meet you. I want you to know that there's so many women that look up to these influencers that you hired and the boot babes have been involved with a lot of them. And so when you started pumping out all this really amazing content with these women, so many people were like, who are these people? Where do they come from? So you're new in the Western space? I guess you could call us new, but not really new because I've showed horses since I was eight. So I was always on a horse, on a ranch, showing and then training horses as an adult and into the cutting horse scene for years. So it was kind of a given when I was in the clothing industry to launch the ranch clothes. And when you say in the clothing industry, tell me about your clothing history, because this isn't just some splash in the pan. My grandfather started our family business in 1924 and we're a textile company and we design and print textiles for clothing manufacturers, fabric stores all over the world. So my grandfather started back in Woolens. He would work with Pendleton year, you know, back years and years ago. But then my dad and my uncle came on the scene when they were older and started working with their dad. And they were instrumental in really growing the company in retail stores, fabric stores, and then clothing manufacturers. And my dad was very instrumental in starting the whole Orange County surf culture because he was stationed in Hawaii in the Navy as a youngster. And he came back to his dad and said, hey, we're going to do Hawaiian prints. So they started doing Hawaiian prints and that's kind of started the whole surf world in, way back in the 50s and designing prints for every brand you can imagine, everyone that you've worn over the years. And yeah, give me some names so people can oh use um, Well, way back, it was like Ocean Pacific and Hang 10 and Hobie and Catalina and Gotcha. And then today's world that people know, Quicksilver, Billabong, Volcom. Isla, Ruka, so many bands that we've designed prints for and for years. And so we're very well known. We've always talked at Hoffman's about having a brand of clothing because we've always been behind the scenes just doing the fabrics. And, you know, in family business, we wear millions of hats and we're all busy and I'm CFO of the company and I'm third generation. And we've always talked about it, like I said, but then just a few years ago, I just got thinking, maybe I should start a brand at this time in my life. So it's getting to where now or never. So I just reached out to a friend of mine that's dad owned Ocean Pacific. And I asked him what he felt. And he's like, why didn't you do it already? You have access to all these prints. We all copyright our art. We have a huge library of prints that are Hoffman prints. And then obviously we design and get new ones all the time too, because we have a lot of artists. And so I Decided, let's go for it. And I got an amazing designer. And we started with the resort and active wear because we were really known for resort type clothing. But we started with that just last year. And then all my horse friends were like, what are you doing? Why don't you make some Western clothes? And so that's kind of what led me to like, okay, let's go for it. And then after we started designing, I invited a friend that was from California also, but she lives in Texas. Her name's Kirby Schnorr and she's amazing. I love Kirby. And, but she came out because I told her what I was doing and told her a bit about Hoffman's, my family company. And she came out and she said, oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing what you guys are doing. She loved the style. She loved the prints we were using. And she's like, this is going to be so unique, so different, and just so perfect for what people are looking for. And she would know because Kirby's not nobody. Tell me who Kirby is so that everyone knows oh because I don't think a lot of people know who Kirby is because yeah. she seems like a behind the scenes character, but she's right in front and center. Oh, yeah. She's on the Cowboy Channel. And now she's on a new show called Farm Her where she interviews. Oh, she goes a mile a minute interviewing everybody in the ranching industry and has showed cows growing up and just knows everybody in the whole rodeo NFR with the Cowboy Channel. And so she's something. So Lovely Ranch, take me on a little journey. Where is Lovely Ranch? It's just the name we came up with because Lovely was a brand and then I've lived on a ranch all my adult life and I'm like, this is perfect. So we really 
picked out some nice prints that we wanted to make out of Western apparel for women. Tell me about men. your ethos or your atmosphere and what you're going for. Well, we're all about being eco-friendly for one thing. The way we print our fabric, and it's all very high premium fabrics because being in the fabric business for so many years, we really have great contacts and no great fabrics, but we print digitally. So it's eco-friendly for the environment and not all the toxic dyes going in the environment. So that's very important to us. And then really looking at fashion, but like things that you can wear all the time and that are really staples and they're not fast fashion. They're pieces that you want to keep, keepsakes and so forth. I love that. So tell me about the things you have in your line right now. We started with the Western pearl button shirt for girls that they can show in, you know, the long tail and everything. So it stays tucked in, the longer arms and everything. And then for men as well. And then we have a cute high-low skirt. And then we have a really pretty pearl button dress. And then a little top to go with the skirt. And then we have some ultra suede pieces, a jacket and a dress with fringe. Then we have a kimono and so forth. So we kind of brought a little bit of Hawaii and, or, you know, resort into it also. And we started with prints that weren't loud. Some are like a non-print print, we call it, because it looks like it's almost a plain print, but you can see a little bit of printing. Yeah, interesting. I've seen all of your pieces at this point, and they're super comfortable and easy to yes. wear. I tried right. on a bunch this morning. Where can people find you if they want to buy you? Tell me a little bit about the process you have right. going on right now. So we definitely are online, lovelyranch.com. And then we are getting into boutiques, which we're very excited about. And we're very well received at the NFR. And a lot of boutiques are going to bring in our line. So you'll be able to find it at a boutique. Hey, that's exciting. It's L-O-V-L-E-I for yeah. those of you listening. And it's lovelyranch.com, right? Yes. And you can buy it retail right now from yep. you. And it's ready to wear. And you have how many pieces in your line right now? 15, maybe. Okay, yeah, so brand new. Yeah. So if you're listening to this and you want to support someone, this is the person to support. Robin has an incredible, incredible taste in clothing. And I'm so over fast fashion, right? This trend of like buying a million things at a dollar a piece and then throwing them away a week later. I don't think it's going to last that long. Tell me about how you feel about that. We've always been about quality, and that's what we're known for in our textile company, even like are selling the fabric stores were very the highest price probably in the fabric stores, but our quality and people love us for that. And just the quality of the fabric, the hand, the way it feels. And every person that feels our clothing are like, oh my gosh, that feels so great. And it washes good, it hangs dry or dry clean it, but it will last. And it's just amazing fabrics. So I'm not about fast fashion. We're starting from the scratch. Like we start with what type of pattern we want or what type of style we want. And so we work with a pattern maker. We work with grading the pattern. So it fits all the different sizes and like fast fashion, they're just taking a style and then redoing it and giving it to a factory to just do it as quickly as they can. And they don't care really about the fabric and the feel of the fabric and the contents. And so we start from the scratch, like I said, and go through the pattern process and then through getting the fabrics printed. And that's a huge, it's a long process. So it will usually take us from start to finish, probably at least nine months before you'll ever see something in a store. Hmm. And usually maybe even a year. And this is so opposite of fast fashion. Yeah. I'm fascinated by this because people don't understand that. We're about doing small runs, so it's exclusive. So, you know, once we sell out, we sell out. We're not gonna just go make it that exact same thing again. I love that. And I think that that uh, bespoke niche, one of a kind fashion is really in. Are you a stylist by trade? Do you like styling things? I've kind of been in design, I guess, just being around my dad all my life. And he was always into that. And like everywhere we went, whether it's out to dinner or walking or wherever, and he'd see somebody in a print or he wanted to know like, oh my gosh, that's not our print. I wonder who this is and I want to feel it. And he'd go up and look at people's labels in their shirts. He and my uncle really studied. They'd go to Europe and see what trends were because Europe's always kind of ahead on fashion and colors and all of that. Yeah, very, very interesting. A lot of people don't understand how the process works. So if someone wanted to have their own prints or something like this, it's about a year long process, right? Yeah. Is that something that you are open to entertaining? Maybe at some point, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's yeah. some people listening. They have giant followings, and they're like, hey, I can make my own print. You do it all in America. 
No, we print usually overseas because they there's no printers here in America that can do the quality. Yeah, isn't that interesting? It's all over the world, though. Yeah, and it's our quality of manufacturing has disintegrated over the past 50 oh, yeah. years. Tell me a little bit about the feeling it's like when you see your garments on other people. Oh my gosh, that's the best part. Why I kind of started Lovely was I wanted to make people feel good. And so many women wear black all the time, black leggings and black dresses and whatever, to kind of, kind of just hide behind it. But when you wear a print, people notice and they're like, oh, wow, that is so cute, you know? Even if they might not wear it themselves. But then when you get people in a print or in our fabrics, it just feels so good. And everybody's face lights up and they get happy. And so it's such a great thing to give women confidence and to be bold enough to wear prints and step out of wearing solids all the time. Yeah, I like that. You're giving them a shot of serotonin and dopamine, <laughs> right? By having them try on clothes. And that's important. I think that we've had a struggle figuring out how do we dress ourselves again for the most part after these crazy things we've been to. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about a defining moment in your entrepreneurial journey. Because it sounds like you've been an entrepreneur your whole life. Yeah, I have. <laughs> and what really changed for you when you decided I'm going to do that or maybe I'm going to go? Did you ever entertain a nine to five job? No. Because my dad was always an entrepreneur, my uncle, nobody had a job where they had a boss. They were always their own boss. And I started showing horses when I was eight, like I said, and I knew I wanted to train horses. And my dad thought I was crazy. And I'm like, nope, I'm going to do it. So I did it for a long time. I love that. Tell me about your horse training journey. So I married a horse trainer when I was very young. And then we went on and trained cutting horses for years. And then things changed in my life. And I had, had been living in Northern California and Texas. And then things changed and I ended up, I had a little girl, two years old at the time. And then I decided I didn't want to live in Texas by myself really and decided to move back to California. And that was 27 years ago mm. and started working at the family business. I had sold fabric for my dad, you know, to clothing manufacturers while I was training horses as well. But that's when I went back to California and I started working full time and became CFO. Amazing. This is a great story. Luckily, I had an accounting background. Right. Because yeah. the numbers talk. Yeah. yeah. Talk to me about numbers. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to 2024? Where are oh, you going to be? And how can people find you? Are you going to be on the road? Are you doing any shows? We're going to Wessa, Dallas Market. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do some other shows for our resort active wear, swim collective, and some other shows like that. Tell me about the Dallas market you have coming up. We decided that we wanted to, you know, get this brand out in the boutiques world. And so Dallas market, Wessa was where we were told this is the place to be. And with Hoffman's, our fabric company, we obviously go to textile shows all over. So I knew I wanted to find a market that would be a place to get buyers to come see us. So Wessa it is next, next month. Do you know your booth number? Oh, 10th floor, 2904. Okay, perfect. So if you're a boutique and you're listening to this or a chain store or a store of any kind or a buyer of any kind, or you're an influencer, or you're someone who's really curious about Robin and her brand, come and see her, us at the Dallas Market, January 17th through the 20th. This is Ashley on Western Fashion Behind the Scenes. And today you've heard from Robin Hoffman. She is the owner of Lovely Ranch and Hoffman California fabric. Yeah. It's so exciting that she's on here today. She has so much to share with the world. Thanks for listening. And remember, it's always a good time to wear cowboy boots. Thank you for listening to Western Fashion Behind the Scenes, hosted by the Boot Babes. If you want to stay up to date with the latest in Western fashion, make sure to subscribe to our show and follow us on social media. We'd love to hear your feedback and suggestions for future episodes, so feel free to reach out. Until next time, keep rocking those cowboy boots. <laughs>